Hi guys, my name is Jamin. This is my channel PC Monkey, where I bring you a wide variety of do-it-yourself computer upgrade and repair videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to access or replace your solid-state drive in a Lenovo Yoga 9 series laptop computer. Before we begin guys, two quick things. First, please remember to like, share, subscribe if this video is helpful. If I do help you through an issue and you feel like supporting the channel a little more, uh, please feel free to leave a super thanks. Even a couple bucks goes a long way to me making these videos and staying on hand as much as possible for questions or comments. If you have a question, check the FAQs below in the description first. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do have to leave me a question or comment, I do try to get to those at least a couple times a day. Second and lastly, a quick shout out to my sponsor, NiceHash. NiceHash is the world's largest hash power marketplace. What that means for you is you can now rent out your computer's unused power online to people who mine cryptocurrency and they pay you for that in Bitcoin. It's a great way to earn some money on the side. It's a great way to start getting into the world of crypto. You can check them out here or I'll fill you in a little more at the end of the video. Now let's get into the project. The exact model of the laptop I'm using is a 1.4i TL5, but it should apply to any Yoga 9 series computer. All right, so I've got my Lenovo Yoga flipped over. It's off. It's unplugged. It's sitting on an anti-static pad. Either a pad or an anti-static bracelet uh, will go a long way to limiting the chances of you damaging things in a computer when you open it up. I also have my small flat metal pry tool and a small hex driver. If you guys need any help finding equipment for your repair, check out the link above. Um, it'll be a link to my Amazon store where I keep a lot of stuff that I use in my shop um, to give you guys an idea of what you may need. So I see some screws here and four on the bottom. I'm gonna take those out now with my hex driver and I think that's all I need to do to get this bottom panel off, we'll see. You guys will notice that the two screws on top were way longer than these little screws in the bottom. So keep that in mind when you go to put this thing back together. All right, those are all my screws. I'm gonna take my small pry tool now, go along the bottom, and very carefully see if I can pop this panel off. Don't put the pry tool in too far. You don't wanna damage components. Just go around and put as little bit of it in as you can. Okay, I'm just going to double check inside now, make sure there's no ribbons or anything that I need to not break. Okay, it looks like I'm all set. So I'm just going to pop this panel off. There we go. So yeah, those screws are all you need to do to take that bottom panel off. And here's the inside. It actually looks like a typical yoga. There's your battery down there. It's held in by two screws there, a screw there, and maybe a screw there. And then it plugs into your motherboard here. Here are your speakers, here's your motherboard, your heat sink assembly with your fans, and there's your solid state drive. As you can see, there's no RAM, it's integrated into your motherboard with these computers, so you cannot take your RAM out easily. Uh, make a note, there's a Lenovo sticker there on top of a motherboard screw. That's so they know if you've gotten at it. So just like we turned the computer off and unplugged it, the name of the game with protecting your equipment is making sure there's no power in it. So the first thing we're gonna do is take out your battery. We're gonna unscrew it and then unplug it from the motherboard. I'm gonna unscrew these four screws and see if the battery comes up. Again, keep these screws separate from your other screws. Most components, battery, motherboard, bottom case, all the screws are different sizes. So keep these screws separate and know what they go to. Also, as a little hint, you can see on the battery, there are these white arrows or triangles. They point to the screws. So just to make sure, yep, it comes up. Now to take it out of, out of the battery port, I'll zoom in a little bit. So it looks like a black plug at the end of these wires plugs into this metal port on the motherboard. So I'm gonna take a plastic pry tool now, not a metal one, and I'm going to gently pull back on, on the battery and gently pry forward the black plug as I'm pulling. So there you go. So that's how the battery comes out. Access a solid state drive. It's right there. It's got one screw in it. I'm going to unscrew that. And then it pops up and just pulls out of the port. 
like that. So to access to your motherboard, you'd want to first remove your heatsink assembly. That's these two fans and the connection. So you can see the screws on those, you would take out your heatsink assembly. And then to access your motherboard, if you see on the corners of where the screws are, there's little white triangles or arrows. Those are motherboard screws. So you can follow all those along. There's a white triangle there, white triangle there. It shows you which screws you need to access your motherboard. So to put these things back in, we're going to slide as a long port and a short port. Slide that back in. Nice and secure, nice and level. Push it down and then we'll replace that screw. We'll bring the battery back over. We'll line up that plug and use two fingernails on either side. Push that back in. And then we'll set our battery in there. And then we'll put back in our battery screws. And we'll bring back over the bottom case. That top part was last, and then just push down on the, on the edges. All right, visually it's all smooth, nothing's poking out. So now we're gonna put back in the four small screws that went out front. And there you go. That's how you would access the solid state drive in a Lenovo Yoga 9 laptop computer. Please like, share, subscribe if this helped you out. If you want to support my channel a little further, please feel free to leave a super thanks. And as promised at the beginning of the video, a little more info on my sponsor, NiceHash. As mentioned, NiceHash is the world's largest hash power marketplace. And again, what that means is you can take your computer's unused, untapped power and rent it out to people online who mine various kinds of cryptocurrency you get paid for that in Bitcoin. It is a great way to get some money on the side with no work. It's a great way to start investigating the world of crypto with no uh, risk to your investment. You've already bought the computer. You're already paying the electricity. Um, it's a great way to do this. It's a fun world. You can use their website to hold your money on their wallets. You can use their research tools to research other cryptocurrencies, and you can even use their exchange to trade for other cryptocurrencies. Again, if you want any more information, feel free to click the link above or leave me a message. Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.